that was a good, good, good lunch. Oh, hi, how you doing? This is Hybrid Steel of the Rusty Nuts Garage. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. So, at the end of the last video, it was we taken on a Chevy because we went on a little bit of a scoot around the junkyard and we found a, a, a car in the auction. We were looking for a Chevy. A reason for it is because we have loads of parts for it. So we bought the frame back here. We've done a little bit of work to it already. We haven't done it fully because, you know, we, we make videos here as well. So we want to share this experience with you and actually share the reasons why we do certain things in this garage. So the Chevy, basically we got it all cleaned up, we straightened it up, and we already painted it. And it is this monstrous green. Now the reason why we did this is, in all honesty, I wanted to pay homage to Richard Rawlings. And the re I'm a massive, massive fan of uh, Gus, uh, Guest Monkey Garage. I've been following it since they were a tiny little garage, and I've, I've followed it all the way through to now. I'm even uh, subscribed to his YouTube channel because... I just he's just got a good vibes man and I just enjoy his channel. So we we we're, we're doing like the gas monkey bel air. All right, so that's why I'm doing it this color. So what I have to do with all this now, I have to strip down everything and then we're going to have to do some shopping for some rims, but we've actually got pretty much most of this car. We've got the engine block, we've got all the bits because we've been doing all those experiments with the Chevys to show you how much your profit is with three style cars. We've got all the parts we need. So I'm going to strip this down now, and we'll get into this. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this colour, because it is blindingly green. Right, on we go. So, next part is taking the gearbox off. Reason why? Well, you know, it's the gearbox. We need to take this off so we can take the block out so we can change it for the block we already have built. We pre-built quite a lot of this stuff, and the reason why is because we were doing so many different things with this version of the car. And the reason why we did it is to basically go through the, uh, the pros and cons of basically fully modifying a car or, you know, not fully modifying a car. So this is why we're doing this. We're building this one in, you know, because we've got the parts for it. That's pretty much it. So as you can see, we basically stripped this car down to absolutely nothing. Um, now we just need to get the block out, which you know, is the joys of blocking. So uh, I could do this myself. It's actually not that difficult just to get the block out. It's when it's everything's attached to it, and it's like, oh no! So yeah, it's, it's been a bit quiet these last few days, and we're just sort of we're just burning off projects in the background at the moment. We know what we're doing. We're just yeah, we're just having a laugh basically at the time. We know things are going to get a bit more serious now because it's getting towards Christmas. People might start buying like, you know, nice cars for their friends and family and all that stuff. And you know, we we know it's all going to happen at some point. So we're just taking it day by day. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to repair all the stuff we just took out. And the reason why is because if we can salvage anything, we can put it onto another car, maybe another project. It's all good. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to chuck it through now, get that all repaired, chuck it, and then basically put it all back together. It's not actually that bad, but it's uh, it's one of those sort of cars that we want to make sure that this is a nice, good car.
Okay, so welcome back. It was only a couple of it was only a couple of seconds for you, but it's been a little while for us. So, what's happened in the last few days? Well, we we got a new delivery. This is the one that we caught from the uh, the auction the other day. Um, we bought it out because this is, this is going to be our next project. That should cut it. if you don't know what this is. This is the Hudson Hornet. If you if you've ever seen cars, there you go. Doc Doc Hudson in the flesh or metal at least. But yeah, so when it gets onto the Chevy, we've had to do some work to the Chevy because the we bought we got the car from a scrap auction. All we knew that it was it was a Chevy Bel Air. We done it's it's had some work done to it. But we weren't sure like what. So when we stripped it all back, we found that the axle joints were different and a few bits and pieces. So we've had to do a bit of restoring, basically because all the parts we've got are for the old ninety fifty seven. Chevy Bel Air. Whoever restored it put a 2000 version rear axle, they changed some parts and some of the mounts in the engine weren't going to line up with the V8 that we already have. So for the last week we've been messing around just like tinkering, making sure that everything's sort of like lined up and ready to go. We've had to do a full sort of like structural change in the back of the car because of the axle. Apart from that, the car's looking really good now. It's obviously, we haven't really messed with the bodywork apart from restoring things but apart from that it's looking all good as you can see it's it's looking shiny we managed to put the v8 in with a little bit of fit we put a couple of bits of sheet metal in just made made up some more mounts for it and it's it went in really really well and as you can see i mean it sort of stands out and it's really cool so the job we got to do now is we've basically got to put everything back on so we're going to start with all the undercarriage, obviously, like the axles and bits and pieces. Put the, and then we're going to shop for a new set of wheels. The reason why is because, well, going to be honest, this car I think deserves it. You know, we're going to try and make this as good as we can. So uh, yeah, let's get into it now then. Okay, so that's the complete undercarriage and wheels of the car. As you can see, we went with a slightly more modern look, mainly because we, if we'd have kept with the wire wheels, they're more expensive to get hold of, they take longer to make, and I'm going to be honest, it's a pain in the ass getting hold of them. I mean, they have to be specially made, because that's the sort of wheel they are. They are custom. Now, if we were doing this for a specific customer, like, you know, this person had like $200,000 to spend on a car, sure, we would do something like that. But when it comes to a car like this, we tend to just go with modern, a little bit of old school, and we're just sort of making it look good. As said, this is a Gas Monkey inspired car, so it's going to be bright and loud. And that's why we put a V8 supercharger in it, and we went with the bright green paint. Radio. As you can see, car's ready on the dyno. Let's do this.
That was a good test. So we increased the power by a little bit, which isn't too bad. It just means it's got a bit more grunt than all the others. So let's go and, uh, we're gonna, let's go and take this down the airstrip because uh, at the end of the day, it sort of needs uh, it, it, it needs a push. We need to put it somewhere. good so there you have it a richard rollins gas monkey garage inspired bel air a chevy bel air 1957 is 1957 yeah a 57 bel air at the end of the day it looks cool i like it and i wish i could keep it but you know we're always looking at like saving some money we're looking at spending some money we're looking at doing bits and pieces and this was just one of those spare cars. So what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to send this to auction. So at the end of the week, thankfully it's Monday. That means we've still got a good couple of days. We'll clean it up, make sure it's all good and solid, make sure everything's just fully connected. And this will go to auction at the end of the week, which is nice. Now, what are we going to do with this? So if you remember Cars, the film, if not, here's an image. So Doc Hudson was this really nice, deep blue colour. And I'm going to, you know, we're not going to do like the whole, you know, massive flappy eyes all over the window screen and everything else like that. But I think if we restore this to like a nice blue color, nice bit of trim to it and keep that going, I think this car will be uh, something a little bit special. You know, yeah, it'll go to either the collection or it'll go to me. I'm probably going to have to like sell it off to somebody who would, who would really look after it. But at the end of the day, at least we've actually done one. And it's, uh, you know, I mean, it, it is a a pure classic so if you do like the fact that we're actually going to be doing a hudson hornet you know join us in another video It'd be most appreciated to have you here and this one this goes to sale so say goodbye to the chevy Bel Air. we'll be back here in another video live stream or whatever else we do over here hopefully you'll kick by to one of those and if you do hit that join like subscribe notifications button below for all other updates until then thank you very much for kicking by this has been a hybrid steel of the rusty nuts garage peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do kaboom this bump to you.